Hey guys, Victory Installers channel. Um, we're on part two here on the timing. Uh, we got the new chain on. Not the new chain, but we got the chain put back on. We got the engine timed. Uh, we put the guides in here. And what I got to go over real quick before we go any further is these are your cam chain tensioners. And I know these are a little bit rough, but as you can see right here, they have an R. And this one you can't see it anymore, but this was the front. The front one actually has this little plunger on it for the 100 cubic inch. Um, this one will be the front cam chain tensioner and obviously the R will be for the rear. Um, you can't go any further with timing this motor until you get to this part. So <clears throat> all I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually just going to slide this in here and get it tightened up. But one thing you want to know is when you go to replace these, Victory tells you you want to replace this gasket. It's kind of like a crush gasket like you'd use on your uh, on your oil drain plug. Make sure you replace that guy. So as you can see, I'm just going to slide it in here. Give it a couple turns. That's going to tighten that up and you'll actually hear the hydraulics kind of bleed down a bit. So biggest thing is Torque wrenches, guys. Have one of every set, you know. Get a, a three quarter, a half, um, or some, I'm sorry, a three eighths, a half, and then a quarter inch because you need all those different uh, foot pounds and inch pounds. So, what you're going to use is a 27 socket, um, and you're going to have to torque this guy down to 75 uh, foot pounds. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this right here. A little hard to do. All right, so she's torqued down. Now the biggest thing is right here, you're gonna wanna torque these to 120 inch pounds. You can only do one at a time, but you gotta make sure if you don't put this in, your motorcycle is actually gonna jump time when you try to rotate the engine. So that leads me to my next segment is <clears throat> right here. Victory makes a specific tool for doing the timing on this. It's a socket that actually slides inside of here. This is a bitch to actually try to, to turn. So the cool thing that you can do is, I still have my dowel in, so I'm not gonna turn anything yet, but if you come over to the other side, if you're like me and you put the Lloyd's timing gear in, you can see in your stator here, now I don't know if this is the best way, but this is the way that I'm gonna end up doing it. There's these two little slots on the side here. The only difference you're gonna do is instead of turning it clockwise like you would on the other side, you're going to be spinning counterclockwise. So you're going to want to turn the engine this way to do everything to get the timing going. So a nice size wrench, you can get in there pretty close and it does help having two people, but you'll be able to rotate this engine and have a little bit of force behind it. So just to recap a couple things real quick before you even start doing this, make sure that you guys are on time. You'll see here, we're still up top. We have our two hash marks aligned with the top of the head. And like I said, make sure you torque this. This is 120 foot uh, inch pounds, and these are 100 inch pounds that you wanna torque these to. You guys can also go a little crazy if you want to. You can apply molly or oil in any of these. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it's not like you have to do it, so. Um, when we, what we'll do is when we get back, uh, I'll have this timed up and for the front and we'll get the new cam installed and then i'll come back to you guys for the next segment thanks for watching guys please subscribe if you like all the videos and uh if you have any other further questions make sure you always contact me i have my email address ready for you guys so just let me know drop me a line thanks for watching guys